Um, my name is Nevin Prince. I'm from Metogamy First Nation. I'm 19 years old and I'm a second year student at Laurentian University in the Indigenous Social Work Program. Metogamy First Nation is everything that's home to me. It's one of the most beautiful places I will ever know in my life. Everyone that you meet, everyone that I know, I've known since I've stepped foot on this earth. Everyone is family. It's a place where you feel safe. And when it comes to having a home, it doesn't matter where you go in this world. It doesn't matter how far away you are from that home or for how long. You will always be brought back to that place. And I believe that Metogamy First Nation is definitely that sense of home to me. This week was, oh my gosh. Well, first of all, it went by way too fast. Like, when you're working hard, when you're with the right people, when you're having a good time, it's crazy how time could fly. You know, I've learned so much from everyone who I've met. I've created friendships that I truly do believe will last quite a while. And through emergency management, I've learned how to create a bigger impact on my community and the people around me more than what I already have. Um, I have had opportunities to help in emergency situations in the past in my First Nation and it, it, goes, it goes very well. And this week, I've, like I said, I've learned more in how to contribute to those events. And to me personally, I believe that one of the most important parts of contributing to emergency management and planning is remembering the impact that you could have on other people. You can make them feel safe. You know, you could give them that sense of security even when times are scary. And I think that's one of the most important parts of being a helper, of inspiring others and just being that helping hand that people need. But I guess a message for the next generation to come is to, to never give up, to always take that leap. Even if something seems impossible, if, if you can't really see what the outcome may be, take that leap anyways. You know, you're, you're going to have all kinds of opportunities within your journey and you have to take it because life doesn't wait. Life doesn't wait for you. So if, if you see something that you want to chase, you have a dream, you have a vision, do everything that you can because this life was given to you and you have chosen this life and you have to do what's best for yourself and what's going to make your story a beautiful one. I think that just meeting everyone and knowing that I have made an, at least a bit of an impact on everyone as well as they have upon me, I think that's one of the most important parts because we're all leaving here with something to remember, you know, with friendships that will last a long time. And we, we, we built something together. We really did build a connection this week. And I think that's one of the most important parts. Being an indigenous woman, I guess throughout my life, good and bad, I have been seen differently by other non-indigenous people. I've been seen as an inspiration. I've been seen as an outsider. You know, I've been seen as some form of different by the people around me, but knowing my, my background, my, my culture, where I come from, it helps me remember that there are younger kids out there like me. I remember when I was younger feeling like I, I was too different. I felt like I was by myself, but keeping where I come from in mind all the people I have behind me, my ancestors, my elders, and the youth, it, it helps me keep going. You know, like I, I have a purpose in this life, as do all my brothers and sisters. And I remember it so I can create a change in this world. 
I just want to say thank you to you, Jonathan, Wes, everyone. Like, this is an experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. I will never, ever forget this. The things that I've learned, I'm, I'm going to take it back home and I'm, I'm going to use it. I'm never going to forget this. And it was amazing. <laughs>